Complete Androgen Insensitivity Syndrome, or CAIS, is a sex development condition which affects individuals with a 46XY karyotype. Because those with CAIS have an active SRY gene, they develop internal testes. But because their bodies do not respond to the sex hormone known as androgen, affected individuals are usually born with a female phenotype. Complete androgen insensitivity syndrome affects every 1 in 50,000 to 1 in 20,000 newborns, a rate of around 0.002 to 0.005% of births. At conception, the chromosome set for CAIS begins with 46XY. However, this X chromosome has a unique mutation in the androgen receptor gene known as AR. The AR gene provides instructions for making proteins known as androgen receptors, which allow cells to respond to androgens for male sex development. Mutations in the AR gene result in no activity at the androgen receptors, so cells cannot respond to androgens. Without response to hormones like testosterone, the fetus develops a female body. And in those with 46XY, one altered copy of the AR gene in each cell is sufficient to cause CAIS. Around the eighth week after conception, the 46XY fetus undergoes gonadal differentiation. Because there is a Y chromosome with an active SRY gene, the bipotential gonads begin developing into testes. As the gonads differentiate into testes, they produce two hormones, anti-malarian hormone, AMH, and the androgen known as testosterone. Because the fetus cannot respond to testosterone, the Wolfian structure, which would have formed the epididymis, vas deferens, and seminal vesicle, does not develop fully, and the testes usually remain in the abdomen undescended. Having been exposed to anti-malarian hormone, the malarian structure, which would have formed the fallopian tubes, uterus, cervix, and upper part of the vagina, disintegrates. But with no response to testosterone, the fetus does not masculinize, and the baby is born with female external genitalia. Despite the active SRY gene which differentiates the gonads into testes, the androgens are unable to bind to androgen receptors for male sex development, and the infant is born with a female phenotype. Thus, newborns with CIS are observed at birth as females, raised as females, and identify as females throughout life. CAIS is often not diagnosed at birth. Like MRKH, which results in underdeveloped malarian structures, the common indicator for CAIS is that affected young women never start their periods. Thus, most diagnoses occur between 15 and 18 years old. The diagnostic process utilizes a pelvic ultrasound to see whether the uterus is present and an MRI to show more detailed imagery of the internal reproductive anatomy. Because MRKH and CAIS both involve an absent uterus, clinicians will utilize karyotype and hormone testing to narrow the diagnosis. If the karyotype comes back with 46XY rather than the 46XX for MRKH, then the adolescent likely has CAIS. Once diagnosed, the doctors will refer the patient to a pediatric or adolescent gynecologist. Because some androgens are converted into estrogen through a process called aromatase, women with CAIS have typical female hormone levels. And because their body does not respond to elevated androgen, they develop a typical female phenotype. They also go through puberty around the same time as their 46XX counterparts, just without periods due to the absence of ovaries and a uterus. After puberty, it's sometimes recommended that women with this condition get the internal testes surgically removed, since the testes have a chance of becoming cancerous. However, since the risk of malignancy is low, patients can also choose to keep the gonads to retain a natural source of androgen production. There are important psychological issues to address if one is diagnosed with CAIS. First, it's critical that a diagnosis is not withheld from the patient. Doctors and parents of the patient have a moral obligation to accurately inform the individual about their condition, how it developed, 
and what the treatment options are. The method and timing of providing the information depends upon the patient's age and cognitive development. Second, a diagnosis of CAIS, like other DSDs, often leads to psychological distress, and it's critical that trained psychologists and counselors are involved. For patients with CAIS, a major component to understand is that they are healthy women. Experts in the condition reaffirm this. Quote, as these girls have never been exposed to male androgen levels, their brain development, along with their physical development, is completely female." Unquote. Unfortunately, unique DSDs like CAIS are often co-opted by activists who use these variations to push ideas about gender or identity. But individuals with DSDs like CAIS experience the same levels of variation in identity and expression as the general population. In all, women with CIS have a 46XY karyotype with an active SRY gene, and therefore develop internal testicular tissue. With inactive androgen receptors, they develop typical levels of estrogen and a female phenotype. With patient-centered treatments focused on the health and psychology of the individual, and loving support from parents and peers, women with CAIS can live healthy lives secure in their own bodies.